morning, friends. Happy Sunday to you. Okay, everybody, on the count of three, I want you to jump up and get ready to do our worship today. Ready? One, two, three. Up! Woo! All right, let's do our call to worship song. Good morning. This is a morning like no other. Cause it's a good, 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 good morning. It's a good, 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 good morning. A good, 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 good morning. It's gonna be a very good day. Cause you're a good, 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 good God. A good, 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 good God. A good, 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 good God. You are a very good God. Let us remember why we are here today. Why? We're here to sing. Okay, our next song is Holy is the Lord. So show me an H for holy and circle it. Show me an L for Lord and cross your body. Holy is the Lord. The earth, draw a circle, the globe. The earth is filled with his glory. Yes, very good, friends. What does this mean? Well, holy, you can think of it as two P words, perfect and pure. That's definitely our God, huh? Perfect and pure. And then glory, to see the earth. The earth is filled with his glory. The earth is filled with his radiant beauty, his brilliant beauty. But the earth is also filled with, with his um, honor. He has the highest honor above all else. So holy is the Lord. The earth is filled with his glory. Let's sing that together.
our next song is called Power Shuffle, and it's really gonna get you moving, okay? There's a lot of instructions in this song. Try to follow the instructions, follow the kids on the screen. But also right now, can you show me your muscles? Show them to me, show me your muscles. Our God is all powerful and nothing can stand against our God. So let's sing about his power on your feet. for worshiping with me today. Remember, worship comes in so many different forms. It's not just the music. It's the way that you think about God and talk about God, how you treat others and love others in his name. So I know that you're gonna do a wonderful job worshiping God today and this week. Love you, miss you, bye-bye. Good morning, Flagstaff Bible Kids. It is so wonderful to be with you again this week. Happy Sunday. It's been a big week for a lot of you. A lot of you probably got to return to school this week in person, and I've been thinking about you and praying for you. I'm so excited for you. It's also been a week full of really silly weather, hasn't it? Really cold and snowing, and but this week looks like it's gonna be nice and sunny. I am ready for summer. Well, thank you for joining us this morning. Worship was great being together in God's Word. And this Sunday is a rather special Sunday in our Christian heritage. This Sunday is, who knows, Palm Sunday. That's right. And to join us today, I brought my little palmy friend. This is my majesty palm. Can you see this guy? And we're going to talk about, we're going to read in Matthew 21 here for a few minutes. And then I'm going to show you um, something special about this palm and... We'll get into that in just a second, but Palm Sunday is a celebration Sunday because guess what? What is next week? Next Sunday is Easter, right. Resurrection Sunday. It's so exciting. So will you join me this morning in bowing our heads to pray, thanking Jesus for his incredible gift, and then we'll get started with our lesson. God, thank you so much for your perfect plan, for your sending Jesus to die for our sins, that we might be with you forever in heaven. 
I thank you for this great gift of the King, the majesty of the King, and I thank you for scripture that tells us about that day. I pray that each kiddo, as they hear this story today, they can imagine themselves in the presence of Jesus on that special Sunday when he rode his donkey into the city. God, I thank you for the work that you're doing in each of these kiddos' precious hearts. I pray that you would just draw them near to you and reveal more and more of who you are to them and who you want them to be in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so if you have your Bible this morning, let's grab that and open it up to Matthew chapter 21. This is the royal welcoming, right? Jesus is getting ready to enter into the city. And have you ever maybe gone to a famous, who's the most famous person you can think about? Have you been to a famous concert or have you been to someone, um, seen someone who's famous in person? Can you think about that for a minute? What did you do when that person, um, when you saw that person, were you just kind of struck with awe? Or when you were waiting, maybe if it was like a concert type situation, you're waiting patiently knowing that that person's coming. What was that like? What did it feel like? Maybe even going to a, um, a sports event. You get to see someone who's famous and you've seen them on TV and then you get to see them perform, so to speak, in real life. That is pretty exciting. And every year, the Jewish people, similar to us, they had a celebration of the Passover to remember just the time that God had protected them from death during that plague in Egypt. Do you remember when Moses told Pharaoh to let his people go? And after that plague, Pharaoh did. He freed all of the Israelites and they got to cross through the Red Sea. And one year, as the people came to Jerusalem to celebrate this feast, something really special happened. And that is what we are going to read about today. They heard that the king was coming. And who is that king? We already know. That's right, King Jesus. So they all went out, not into a crowd or into a theater or into a stadium, but they went out onto the road to praise him. And it's kind of fun to think about what it may, might be like when that king, when Jesus arrived. So we're going to read um, this morning in Matthew 21, verses 1 to 11. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and once you find a donkey tied there with her colt nearby, untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. Say to daughter Zion, See, your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey, and on a colt, the full of the donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus instructed them. They brought the donkey to the, and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road as well. The crowds went ahead of them, and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred, and they asked, Who is this? And the crowds answered, This is Jesus the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. So our little memory verse from this week is going to be Matthew 21, verse 9. And it says, Hosanna to the son of David. Do you know what the word Hosanna means? It's similar to at a door or adoration. It's a, a word of praise given to the king. So Hosanna to the son of David. Praise be to the son of David, which is Jesus. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And that is Jesus. So think about that this morning. We sing songs of Hosanna and praise to our God. And that's exactly what these crowd of people in the city of Jerusalem were doing as King Jesus entered on the road. What did Jesus say that his disciples were going to find in that village? Two things, a donkey and the colt, her colt, right? Which is her a baby donkey. And so they were supposed to bring them to Jesus. And that was the fulfillment of a what? Do you remember that word? A prophecy. That's right. This is something that the prophet had spoken years and years before into existence. So this is the fruition, the actual happening of the thing that has been talked about for years and years. Now, what did the disciples prepare 
the donkey for Jesus, what did they do to get it ready? Do you remember? It said that they laid their cloaks, that's right, on his back. So a cloak would be like a jacket that they would lay down for Jesus to have something to lay on. And what did the crowds also start to do? They laid out their cloaks and also their palm branches. And if you're joining in person this morning, you might even get to see some of these in real life. They laid their branches on the floor like Jesus. Now, to me, the only thing I can really equate that to is like the red carpet. Have you heard of the red carpet? Celebrities walk down the red carpet. Sometimes in um, palaces and castles, there's long flowing red, red carpets and red floors. And essentially, that's what these people were doing. They were giving what they had and laying it down to prepare and make way for the Lord. Jesus. If you were among the crowds, how do you think it would feel in that moment? Would you be excited? What if you were doing something naughty that morning and talking back to your parents and Jesus came through? Would you be a little nervous that the king was there and he was going to see you maybe? Maybe. Why do you think um, that the people shouted? Why do you think they shouted, Hosanna to the son of David? Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven because they were praising him. And they didn't know yet what Jesus was about to do, right? He performed lots of miracles, but they had no idea that he was not only going to free them from Roman rule, but he was going to free them from death and their sins by dying on the cross. So it is so special to remember that this day, this Palm Sunday, in our, in our a piece of our faith, um, it's just what Jesus has done for us, what he did for us on the cross. And if these people who didn't know what he had done on the cross were so willing to lay down their palm branches and to lay down their cloaks, should we be all the willing to lay down our lives for the plan that we know the faithful Jesus will surely bring to fruition in our lives? Yes. So they shouted praises of joy. Can you shout a praise of joy? Woo! Hosanna! You can. You can shout loudly. What are some ways that you can praise the Lord this coming week? You could take away time to shout to him, to sing to him. What are some other things you can do to praise God? You can pray to him. You can draw. You could make him a picture. You can use anything that your body, you can dance for him. Anything that he created you to have, any gift that you have, you can return that gift to Jesus by giving that to him. So make sure this week during our Holy Week, as we prepare for Resurrection Sunday, when Jesus rose again from the grave, that you take special time. You could take it with a sibling, you could take it with your parents, or you could take it just you and Jesus by yourself and give him that praise. Shout to him the praise that he is surely worthy of, right? Okay, let's take a minute to pray and then Miss Beth will have her craft for us. Jesus, thank you so much for this message. Thank you for the story of you riding in on a donkey to be the king and the savior for all of us, the great gift that you offer to us. Pray if there are any kiddos that haven't received this gift or accepted you into their heart, Jesus, that you would draw them to you and that right here, right now, this would be a perfect place for them to do that. We thank you for your gift. We thank you for um, the Holy Week and all the fun and just memorable and meaningful things that our church gets to celebrate together throughout this week. I pray that you would just be present and tangible to each of us. We love you, Jesus. Hosanna. Blessed be the one who comes in the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great week, kiddos. Hi, Flag Bible Kids. It's Miss Beth. I still miss you guys. It has been super exciting to see some of you guys back in person, but those of you who I haven't seen yet, I miss you guys lots and hope to see you guys sometime soon. Um, so this week we learned about Palm Sunday. So we took a break from what we've been learning about and we focused on Palm Sunday because today is Palm Sunday. So thank you, Miss Emily, for the amazing lesson for teaching us about Palm Sunday, what Palm Sunday means, why this is a special day, why we talk about this day every year in church, why this is something important with our belief, with our faith. Um, so for us to remember it, I did a craft for us that's going to remind us of Palm Sunday. Because as many of you who have been in our church, if you guys remember back to not last year, because last year we were at home, but years prior, we would go into the sanctuary and we would sing the song, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. We would sing that song and we would have palm leaves that we would be waving. Do you guys remember that? 
Yeah? I remember that because it's a special time. It's a time to praise Jesus. Um, we are singing our praise to him. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. What an amazing day. So today, to remember that, we're going to make our own palm leaf. So I just took green paper and I took a pencil because I didn't have anything else that I could use here. You could use a ruler. You could use just a piece, another piece of paper, whatever you want. Paint stick if you have those. Anything that's at home. You can glue it on. You can tape it on. I taped it on. But I cut different strips of paper. You could also cut your handprints out in the green paper and then you could put those on here as well to make a palm leaf. You can write on here if you want to, Hosanna. If you don't want to, you don't have to write anything either. But here is a palm leaf that you guys can make so that you can remember why today is so special, what today is about, why we talk about this. And especially with this week coming, talk with your family, spend some time with them talking about Easter coming. So we have Palm Sunday, and then we have Good Friday, and then we have Easter. And these are such special, special days because we're talking about what Jesus did for us, how Jesus, how he died on the cross for us and how he rose again, how many days? That's right, three days later. That's why we celebrate Easter. He did this for us so that we can be forgiven. Isn't that amazing? I absolutely love that Jesus did this for us because he loved us so, so much. It is amazing. And he wanted a way for us to be able to be forgiven of our sins. So he died on the cross for us, for you, for each and every one of you, for your parents, your grandparents, every person that you know, he died on the cross for them. So that if we are saved, if we've asked God into our heart, and if we truly believe that Jesus is the perfect sinless son of God, and we believe that he died on the cross and rose again three days later, if we've asked God into our heart, he is in our heart forever and he will never leave us. And we are welcomed into his family. Isn't that incredible? I absolutely love that we're reminded of this each and every year. So I'd love to see your palm leaves. If you guys make palm leaves, send me a picture. I'd love to see them. So I'm going to pray for us and then we're going to be done. Dear Jesus, just thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for each of the kids that are on right now. Um, just uh, thank you for allowing us to be able to get together this way, Lord, for the last year. Um, just be with everyone. Keep them safe and healthy. Um, be with um, all the kiddos that started back at school last week, Lord. Um, just I hope that they all had an amazing week at school. Um, for the teachers that started back. Um, for the other kids that are starting back this week. Um, just be with them. Um, just protect each and every person, Lord. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for allowing us to be reminded and learn more about Palm Sunday. Um, I hope that we all have an amazing week. Thank you for being with us and in your name. Amen. All right, Flag Bible Kids, I miss you. I cannot wait to see each and every one of you, but I will see all of you again next week. And I did also want to give you guys a heads up that the online kids services, we're going to go through next week. So we're going to go through Easter. And then for a while, we're not going to have online services because things are starting to open up again. So that way we can all be together in person. However, if you are still online, that is great. And I would love to hear it. So definitely let me know. We have a year's worth of kids stuff. So you can go on YouTube and you can see all the different ones that we have done over the last year. So I hope that all of you have a fabulous um, Palm Sunday, and I hope that you guys have an amazing week. See you all next week. Bye.